Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to a little catch up, Q&A, just a bit of a chatty vlog really. So get yourselves comfy, get a drink, get chilled and I hope you enjoy this video. So I wanted to film just a little Q&A vlog because it's been such a long time since I've done one of these and you guys are often asking questions are over on instagram in my inbox about mainly upcoming trips and are we going to disney are we going to halloween horror nights and i just thought let's put everything in a big update q a style vlog and have a little bit of a chat and a catch up while we're at it so i did put the question box out on insta and you guys ask some really good questions so i'm going to answer as many as i can today apologies by the way for the state of me i've just like finished work a little while ago and then done some cleaning so i just chucked on a big oversized barbie t-shirt actually and then i thought actually i've got a little bit of time i'm going to film this vlog so that's me. <laughs> but yeah, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please do go ahead and subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it. Okay guys, so as I touched on briefly a minute ago, obviously the most frequent question I got was, when are you going back to Florida? Are you going back to Halloween Horror Nights this year? And then a load about Disney as well, because there's been some Disney news in this last week. So I'm not gonna do a full trip announcement right now, but I will just say we are going back to Florida this year, we are going to Halloween Horror Nights and we are going to Disney World. So a lot of you guys also said about the Disney dining plan. So Disney announced, I think it was late last week now, that they are offering the free dining plan again, which is amazing news. That hasn't been a thing since pre-COVID. We've all been hopeful it will come back. We've utilized it in the past. Um, and yeah, it's just really good. In a nutshell, if you stay in a value hotel, you get one free quick service meal. If you're in a moderate resort, so either of the Port Orleans, French Quarter or Riverside, the Caribbean Beach Resort or Coronado Springs, then you get the full quick service meal plan. Or if you're in a deluxe resort, you get the full dining plan, which is the quick service meal, the table service meal, the refillable mug, snacks. I've done that before and that is a lot of food. I felt like we spent that whole holiday eating. So FYI, I wouldn't actually do that one again because I don't want to spend all my time in a restaurant. Like I just want to be on rides and running around the theme parks having all the fun. But for some foodies out there, it's it's fun and it is nice to try a selection of the restaurants as well. So yeah, a lot of you guys asked, would this Disney dining plan returning mean that I would go back and that we would stay on site at Disney again because if you've watched the channel for a while you'll know that we haven't actually stayed on site since 2019 2019 when we first went back in 2022 we did a villa we've since done universal stays and yeah no <laughs> the answer is no because next year 2025 is when epic universe opens so 2025 is going to be all about universal and epic universe for us uh, personally um i actually do think that's probably a partially why disney are offering the free dining plan again because they know that epic is going to be big and a lot of us traveling over are going to be going over to universal and checking out that brand new theme park which i am so so excited for guys like, i can't even put your words how excited i am for epic universe but yeah uh, we won't be going back to disney next year but we are going back to disney this year we're actually on site this year so a bit nearer the time i'll do like a full announcement video and cover everything but i am so excited to be back on site at walt disney world somebody asked a really good question that i love what are you hoping for at halloween horror nights this year so I'm hoping for A Nightmare on Elm Street. It's the 30th anniversary of the film. Universal have worked with Nightmare on Elm Street before in the Freddy vs. Jason house that was there at Halloween Horror Nights 25. That was amazing. I loved that house. And Nightmare on Elm Street is my favorite horror. Freddy Krueger is my favorite horror icon. And yeah, I just love it. That's what I personally am hoping to see. I wouldn't be against a Ghostbusters house because the new film has just come out. And I think, that's always a good option as like the fun kind of house, like not too scary, appreciate all the movie sets kind of things. And I think that was really good last time they did it, a couple of years back. So that would be fun. In terms of Blumhouse, as there has been a lot of Blumhouse houses in the last few years, the new film Imaginary was quite good. And there are definitely some scenes in that film that I can see at Horror Nights. There's also another film coming out called Abigail about a ballet girl vampire i think which sounds weird but it actually looks quite scary so 
that could be cool as well and i really want to see the creature from the black lagoon because there's been focus on the universal monsters so dracula has been there a lot last year and the year before they had houses with like the mummy and frankenstein bride of frankenstein so i think it's time for the creature of the black lagoon to shine and i would love to see that on that horror note I got asked what are my top three horror films and guys if you don't really know horror is my favourite movie genre I love it always have done always will do literally I just like I like being scared um so yeah as I've touched on Nightmare on Elm Street is my number one I also really do like in terms of more recent horror films Sinister I think that is really scary it's like Something to do with the music they use and the death scenes and it's just, it's a lot. I feel like it's intense and the guy really scares me. Yeah, that's up there. The Saw franchise is up there as well. I've got a lot of love for Saw. And an honourable mention will go to Halloween because Michael Myers is really cool. I really like him. So I do always appreciate when Halloween is at Halloween Horror Nights as well. Another question I got asked was, would you prefer to do a Disney Cruise or Disneyland Paris? So, for me, Disneyland Paris, always. I tried cruising once, back when Disney Cruise Line did the UK vacation cruises that were basically just at sea off the coast of the UK for a few days. And I know, like I'm fully aware that was not a proper cruise. I know that, like it... It didn't stop off anywhere, there were no excursions, no days in new cities or exploring or it didn't go to Castaway Key in the Bahamas or anything like that. Um, but generally, not a fan, not a fan of cruising. It, I don't even think having all that stuff would change my mind because it was being at sea. Like I didn't feel seasick or anything like that, I didn't suffer from that. But I just, I knew we were at sea and when I was laying in bed at night I was like, I don't really like this, I find it quite quite creepy in a way it just i don't know it freaked me out being at sea it's not for everybody a lot of people absolutely love 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 cruising especially disney cruise line but i just didn't like the feeling of being at sea i found it very odd <laughs> that's not to say the ship wasn't amazing and all the amenities and the food was insane and the characters and everything was really really good it's just that cruising as a whole i'm not a fan so for me i would always pick the theme park i like to be on dry land i like the rides and i don't know i just i'm a theme park girl i love the parks what's your favorite disney ride so for me it's probably big thunder mountain just because it's an absolute classic i love it i've got so many memories of big thunder mountain both in the magic kingdom and in disneyland paris and it's just really special i love it in terms of newer rides, my top would definitely be Guardians of the Galaxy. I think that is just amazing. Such a fun ride. Like, I liked it a lot more than Tron. And I'm going to say, guys, that I do think the reimagined version of Splash Mountain with Tiana, Tiana's Bayou, and Princess and the Frog theme, and all the frogs, like animatronics and everything on that ride, is going to be so good. Like, the more Disney are releasing about that ride, the better and better it's looking. And I think that's going to be up there. I'm really looking forward to getting on that later this year. I just literally had to stop filming there because I have got the worst dead leg. <laughs> I don't know why I sat down on the wooden floor on my legs and thought that this was a good idea. But yeah, if things have changed, that would be why. Uh, another question that I got was favourite places to eat at Universal. So I would say that inside of Universal Studios Florida, my favourite place to eat is probably the Today Cafe, which is just as you go in. It's lovely. It's like sandwiches and stuff, so a bit different to all the chips and fries and chicken tenders, which I love, by the way, but it's nice to have a bit of a break from those. So I love Today Cafe. I haven't actually eaten at Minions Cafe yet. Like, last time I was there, I would say I don't think I had time, but there must have been time. It was just, it just didn't... It didn't work out basically we didn't get to go there our timings we just weren't around that area i don't know hopefully next time i'll get to try a minions cafe over in islands of adventure i don't actually rate the food that highly in that park unfortunately i know that circus mcgurkus has just been redone so it'll be cool to try that and the um, croissant moon bakery right at the front of islands is good as well for like sandwiches and things like again not fried stuff which is what i like <laughs> there's an auntie anne's in islands as well so we usually do grab stuff from auntie anne's and cinnabon in terms of city walk 
Verde Donut all day long. Panda Express, I love, I know that's such a basic answer, but it's just so good. Right, moving away from the Florida Disney Universal type questions, I was asked, what are you most looking forward to during these summer months? And I love that question. Like, I'm so excited for spring and summer. Over like Easter weekend, we did start to get a little glimpse, guys, didn't we, of the sunshine and spring and what it's gonna be like to have some warmth and blue skies again. But since then, it's kind of just gone like grey, cold, windy, horrid again. So one, I'm just looking forward to being warm and feeling the sunshine on my skin. Two, I'm looking forward to going to Centre Parks because in June we've got a weekend in Centre Parks with um, some friends and their daughter as well. So that's just going to be a lot of fun. We booked all of our activities the other day and we've got some really fun things booked. Like we've got a boat on the lake which is going to take all six of us and I think it's a mixture between kayaking and another, another kind of boating i can't remember what it was called it's a funny word but that's gonna be fun we're meeting baby owls paisley and her friend are going to a chocolate making like class it's just it's gonna be awesome it's got the swimming pools the bikes everything i can't wait to just be like in the forest and secluded and lovely lovely i'm gonna vlog as well hopefully so well, i don't know do you guys want to see that vlog so hopefully you do center marks is always fun so i think i will and then generally speaking just having some time with paisley in the six week holidays i've got a week off like halfway through so gonna plan some nice fun days out hopefully and chill hopefully we'll get some time at the beach that would be nice we always love a beach day some uk theme parks would be good Thought Park, Hyperia opens in May, the UK's tallest and fastest coaster. I don't actually know, <laughs> from photos and videos, I don't actually know if I'm gonna wanna go on Hyperia, but I definitely wanna go and look at it. Like, I love, love, love coasters. Ever since I was really young, when I was a teenager and I first started going on a computer, this is gonna make me sound like such a nerd, but I am, so I don't mind. I would go on this website, which would give you information about roller coasters, and it would literally tell you like, the tallest, the fastest, the most G-forces, the most inversions, all that stuff. And I just used to sit and read and read and read it. Like I've always, always loved theme parks and roller coasters. It's just as I'm getting older, I'm becoming more of a wimp and Hyperia looks insanely big. It's like stealth and a half, so I don't know. Hopefully Rob will get me on it. He can he can try and drag me on. I might run away screaming and crying, but we'll see. But yeah, a day at Thought Park would be super fun as well any more room makeovers planned uh not right now i need to paint this whole house like the whole house needs a lick of white paint it's just you know when it gets to the point where you just need to repaint so i'm waiting for the warm weather and then i'm going to paint the whole house i say i hopefully my granddad's going to help me he loves all his diy and stuff so it always helps me with all that stuff so we need to do that and i might get a new sofa this year as well i feel like we just need a new sofa and I do want to get in the garden again this year, guys. Last year, I bought a massive tin of paint to do all the fences and everything. Never did it. So that paint's probably gone manky. I need to have a look at it. It's in the garage. I would like more fairy lights. Pacey's actually growing some seeds this year as well. So we've got carrots, tomatoes and strawberries out there. So we're nurturing those in the hope that they're actually going to grow. And I just want to kind of make the garden a bit nicer. In Home Bargains, I've actually got all the garden stuff out. So... I need to spend a bit of time in there, come up with a bit of a plan and yeah, make the garden really, really nice for summer. A lot of you guys ask whether there's any wedding plans yet for Rob and I. There's not. <laughs> it's quite a boring update really. No, no wedding plans here. We're quite happy for it to be a long engagement. I think we're just really, really happy as we are. A couple of you guys have asked, how's Bren? So if you don't know, Bren is my beagle. He is amazing. He is so wonderful. I love every bone in that stinky dog's body. He's like 15, so he's a little old man, bless his heart. I am noticing him deteriorate and get old and more frail, and I just, I can't even think about it at the moment because, yeah, when that day comes, my heart's just gonna break, literally. He's my best friend. I, I love his bones so 
much. That hound has my whole heart. But yeah, generally he's good. He's greedy, he's playful, he's still himself. And the main thing is that he's happy. So yeah, all good, thank you. So my friend Christine has asked me a question that I've not actually stopped thinking about since. So VIP, meet and greet with Machine Gun Kelly or Halloween Horror Nights, Free for Life. So guys, if you know me, you'll know that MGK is my favourite musician, actor. I literally love him so, so much. Big, big fan. Um, and Halloween Horror Nights is everything. I love Halloween Horror Nights. So I can't choose, but if I could take MGK Colson to Halloween Horror Nights for the night and kind of combine both of those, I think that would be the best night ever. I think he would love Halloween Horror Nights. I'm sure it's right up his street. So that would be a dream. Right guys, I'm running out of time, so I am going to have to wrap this one up here. I hope that you enjoyed this Q&A. I got through a good bulk of the questions, so maybe we can do one of these again sometime if you do enjoy it. Thank you, as always, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Every like, comment, every person who subscribes, it helps the channel so, so much with its growth. And I know it's just a little channel, but it's my little baby, my project. I love it. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, everybody, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys.